Although 2022 is not over just yet, we already have a long list of upcoming anime confirmed for 2023. From multiple sequel shows like the Vinland Saga, Jujutsu Kaisen or the most awaited one Attack on Titan. But for today we won't be talking about the sequels, as we all already know much about it. So for this list, we solely focused on the newly released. Make sure to watch till the end and let me know which one are you excited about the most. The popular shonen jump supernatural and comedy manga, Undead Unluck is getting its anime adaptation. We manga fans danced with joy and anticipation. It's a short manga about a girl named Fuko, who wants a passionate romance like the one in her favorite shoujo manga. Unfortunately, her unluck ability makes it impossible. After being saved from her own suicide attempt by an immortal man she refers to as Andy, the two set off on an adventure to help Andy finally end his life and help Fuko find a way to enjoy living, regardless of her powers. The feel of Undead Unluck is 100% what you would expect from any shonen jump anime. I do really enjoy the source material. The characters are a lot of fun even if they're not super unique. If you're looking for a new and exciting shonen anime to watch, Undead Unluck is a fun one. After making some buses in 2022, Chain Soldier Manga is finally getting its anime adaptation. From the author of Akame Ga Kills, Takahiro Here comes another extremely etchy action series aimed at fans of To Love Ru. With the mix of hot romance and harem action, living in the world of Magical Explorer, the legendary erotic game where demons threaten our world. Women take charge of defense and men take care of household chores and menial jobs. Our protagonist, Yuki, dreams of fighting such demons. But the problem is, he reincarnated not as the lady killer MC with his overpowered cheat skills, but as his unlucky comic relief best friend becoming a super-powered slave to an all-female group of demon slayers. Does it sound like a dream? We'll find out soon when it's animated. Have you ever watched something that makes you feel lonely and insecure, but at the same time quite a wholesome one? If you do then you know the drill right. For that, Insomanica's After School is one of that rare slice-of-life anime, making its way to anime adaptation. This is a story about two grumpy yet rebellious teens who are suffering from insomnia. It all started with the death of one of the astronomy club's members. Now how they seek comfort is in the sleep of each other, in an abandoned observatory. But here's the catch, they need to learn how to help each other without mentioning much about it. Although there is no official news of the release date, it is confirmed to be among all the new anime released in 2023. If you're looking for wholesome content which isn't rushed, this is the one. A shy boy getting pixelated by the most popular girl in the school. Ever heard of this before? Well, Takagi-sen or Nagatoro-sen did it years ago. The first-year high schooler Junetta Shirashi is a mob character who goes unnoticed, even when he's standing right next to you. But his classmate, heroin-level beauty Kubo, always notices him and is there to tease him. Anyone can become special to someone, but it might be a little too early to call these feelings love. While I may not be the right person to say this, people are loving this type of plot development and it's the reason why rom-com Mangaka wants to have their own spin on this type of story. However, things could get interesting if they take the story to an entirely different spot, perhaps better than its predecessor. I would love to see it happen. Ever watch One Punch Man? It's a parody of Shonen Heroes, a big ripoff to Shonen titles like My Hero Academia or Western fantasy Harry Potter. But we're loving it so much that people started comparing it with Goku. And the thing with Mashal is it very funny. It takes the basic setup and tropes of a teen going to a magical school, being out of his depth, and rising to the top while dealing with bullies and challenges and twists them along the way. It is safe to say that Mashal wouldn't be the same without all this. The things he does, the ways people react to them, the commentary from others, and even how he reacts to different scenarios and results he gets, make for some of the funniest moments you find after a very long time. Well if you are a fan of comedic shounen titles like One Punch Man, then I am sure you must be loving this one. Recently we have seen a huge surge in rom-com, however, with our recent addition The Angel Next Door it's promised to be a slow burner. Our MC is a first-year student in high school named Amane who lives alone in an apartment, and the most beautiful girl in school, Maharu, lives just next door, although they never spoke until the day it all began. 
Maharu Shena, sitting alone in the middle of a rainstorm, not wanting the idol to catch a cold. Amane gives her his umbrella before running back home. To return the favor, she offers him help with the house chore, and a relationship slowly begins to blossom as the distance between them closes. For seasonal rom-com fans who enjoy slow burner stories like My Dress Up Darling, I suggest you definitely have to keep an eye on this one. Most Asakai anime have been successful lately, and fans love the idea of starting a new life in a new world. But what if for some reason you got double Esekai? Mangaka Kazuo Kishimoto just took his light novel to the next level. The world of Eclair is in danger due to a conflicting war between the human and demon races. To end this war a man was summoned to save the world, and he indeed saved the world as per his mission, and safely returned back to his original human world. However this time a trap is set up by a human king, for our MC to be reborn again as a baby in modern times. Sixteen years later, he spent his high school life under the name Suzaki Setsu. He continued looking for a method to return to a different world again, but somehow he keeps getting caught up in a nasty plot. I know we have many seasonal esekai genres nowadays, but looks like this harem comedy is worth the try. Although there's no release window announced for the Hell's Paradise anime adaptation, but I crossed my finger that it could release in 2023. Hell's Paradise takes place in Edo, Japan, follows the story of the legendary ninja Gabamaru of Iwagakure's village. But when he tried to leave the ninja's life behind, his fellow ninjas betrayed him and give death sentence to him. Now counting his endgame days, he was approached by the executioner, Asuman Sogiri, who proposed to him with a tempting offer. If Gabamaru joins an expedition to search for the so-called elixir of life, the shogun will forgive him for all his crimes. But what our MC needs to consider is that there is a reason why the island is called Hell's Paradise. The anime is filled with gorgeous scenes and I called this an anime beauty that caught my attention. Let's hope we get a beautiful anime adaptation for it. If I had to pick just one anime for the most anticipated anime adaption of 2023, then it has to be Solo Leveling. The madly well-known South Korean web novel by Chugong will finally be making its grand entrance. Since a portal appeared that connects our world with a world full of monsters and creatures of all kinds, some people have acquired powers and the ability to hunt them, they are called hunters. But our MC Sung Jin Woo ranks he considered to be an above-average human. One day he got trapped in an extremely dangerous dungeon. Will our MC be able to survive and compete with other hunters? Well, it was only a matter of time before solo leveling also got adapted. And now we know a One Pictures will be responsible for animating this masterpiece. Mark my words year 2023 will be known for solo leveling. Well, that was a massive list of all the new anime released in 2023. Some of these titles are confirmed to be released in 2023, while some still haven't revealed a release window yet. But whatever the case is let's hope for the better. Now I would like to know your best pick for 2023. There must be something for everybody right. So mark your calendar already there isn't much time left. Peace.